Welcome to this video about Yakindu traceability and especially invasive linking in enterprise architect models. Um, the main reason for this video is uh, one customer just asked about this feature and I decided to answer him with this video. So I prepared a little data model, uh, requirements in Excel and some model elements in Enterprise Architect and the requirements, they have attributes like description, title, prior and an ID. And when we look at, at the demo requirements in Excel, uh, double click opens Excel, uh, opens on a, another screen. So this is the example Excel with the requirements that I created. So just for requirements and ideas 3, 3.1 and so on, they have a title, a description and a prior. And if you hover over them, you see the attributes. And I configured Yakindu to support linking of requirements and architectural components and to store these links in Enterprise Architect. So I'm switching to the tracing perspective and uh, create some links. So I choose the link type. There is only no one link type, so not so much to choose. And I link uh, some requirements now to some model elements. And um, yeah, because this is the first link I create and uh, I specified this package as target for the link information in uh, Enterprise Architect, Yakindu asked me whether I want to create the package. And yes, of course I will. So give it a second. And now the Enterprise Architect model has been updated and I create some more links. Um, simple as that. And the next thing I want to show is the suspicious link validation. So I, I again open Excel with a double click and change some requirements. So I change the prior to low uh, and change uh, uh, the text here to, to something. Uh, I don't know whether this makes sense. Uh, I just want to do some changes. Uh, save the Excel document. Um, and now the requirements that have been linked uh, are changed and of course I want information about that. Is the link still valid? So I run the suspicious links validation. Um, so and it's already there. Um, so we have a warning here. Um, it says uh, the prior of the requirement had been changed. Um, but I ch changed the description. Why is there no warning about the description change? That is because the requirement is not linked. So I have to change the description of the requirement which is already linked. Um, so change that guy uh, like that. Save again. Uh, run the validation again. Now we have two suspicious links. Um, um, and the second shows that the text changed. And uh, if it's a long text, I really need the details. And now I can decide whether I want to um, declare the link still as valid. And I want to do this. So I just go to the quick fix. Um, and I want to update it in uh, Enterprise Architect. Um, and if I click Finish, now the changed information have been written to Enterprise Architect. And when we look at the detail of the configuration, you see the reason why. Here's the configuration of the link, how, how the link should be stored in Enterprise Architect. And I said, um, I want to represent the requirements from Excel in Enterprise Architect as UML requirements. Or I could have chosen, let's say, to store the requirements in classes inside the model. Uh, but I, of course, I chose requirements, UML element for, for real requirements. And I want to create the link in the UML model with realization uh, relations. So uh, whenever I create a link, Yakindu uh, stores a requirement in Enterprise Architect and creates a re realization from the model element to the requirement. And it also stores the information about the requirement. So the idea, it gives it a name, and we, we store the attributes that have been read with the requirement also in, in tagged values or in, in um, fields of the requirement. And when the requirement has been changed, then Yakindu compares the stored values uh, inside the tagged values and the fields in the enterprise architect and the real values. And if they differ, then the link is suspect. And we saw the result of the validation uh, just before. Uh, that was it already, short video about invasive linking in Enterprise Architect. So the link is really stored together with the EAM, EA model, um, simple as that. Um, that's the whole configuration and, and there's, there's more explanation than real configuration in this example. So really simple case, works out fine. Uh, thank you for watching.